So now that we've set our preferences, we want to start talking about our panel sets over here. Now, by default, the panel set is normally collapsed. If I want to expand it, all I have to do is click the little double arrows in the corner, and the panel automatically opens. Now, this panel set already is predefined based on the workspace. If I want to change it, modify it, I have complete control over that. All these panel sets are actually stored under Window. So if I click on Window, it's going to give me a list of not only the ones that you see, but a lot more extra panels that we can actually use. Now for today, there's going to be a lot of these that we don't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redefine and rechange this workspace. For instance, down here we have stroke, gradient, and transparency. Not something that we need right now. If you right click on the actual list, you have the ability to close it. Now if you right click and hold and come down to close tab group, you have the ability to close the entire group. I can pull off individual panels if I want to change it, modify it, or rearrange it. In this case, the color guide, I don't need it, so I'm just going to close the color guide by hitting the little corner. Swatches, though. Now, swatches is something that I would like to use, and I'd like it with my color. So I'll take the swatches, I'll drag it, I'll move it on top of color until I get a little blue square, and swatches will automatically dock itself with the color set. 